are very warm, but rain is on the way. Yes, we've got a few scattered showers out there, but I mean, for the first day of November, I'll take 60 degrees. I mean, it's not too bad. In fact, we typically see highs in the upper 50s to start the month, and by the end of the month, we're only in the upper 40s. A live look at the city of Boston. You can see the pre right there. Uh, we've got some clouds further north of the city. That's where we have those scattered showers. In fact, we've got a weather boundary draped right across our area, but it's linked to this area of low pressure through the Ohio Valley and this cold front to the south and all of this moisture is going to continue to stream right up the eastern seaboard into our region for the day tomorrow and even into the weekend as high pressure begins to pull away. But it's that clockwise flow that's allowing for the mild air to surge right into our area. So enjoy the mild air now because once the system finally moves out of here by the second half of the weekend, we've got cool high pressure that will build on in. But it's all about that temperature difference thanks to that front. To the north of it, we've got temperatures in the 40s and 50s in New England, but to the south, it's 62 in Boston right now, 67 in New York. Highs today really depending on where you are. Now, of course, Boston has jumped over that 60 degree mark. And 60s will be common through the afternoon for our areas across the southeast. But the further north you go, 40s and 50s is all we're seeing right now. In fact, right now in Manchester, it's 48 degrees. Lawrence, 58, 54 in Fitchburg. But then we're in the 60s down across the southeast. Few light showers, mainly north and west of 495. And as we go hour by hour through the afternoon, I'm anticipating to still see the risk of a spot shower closer to that weather boundary and to the north. While to the south, you're likely going to stay drier and milder. Now, overnight, that frontal boundary, it's going to be a waffling back and forth. So I'm expecting more clouds around, the risk of a spot shower, temperatures back into the 40s and 50s. And when you get out the door tomorrow, we're going to notice that front beginning to lift to the north. We'll see scattered showers around, but temperatures are really going to warm as winds pick up out of the south. It's going to be another mild day. In fact, highs tomorrow will be in the 60s, but again, it comes with the wet weather. And really tomorrow night is when we're going to be looking at that uh, downpours and perhaps even a few thunderstorms. So we'll be watching for the scattered showers through the day tomorrow. Again, embedded thunderstorms, very possible. And as we get into the afternoon and evening hours, we'll be watching as the slow moving front approaches. And I say slow moving because notice by 8 o'clock, we still have a lot of rain across the region. Darker shades of yellow indicating that heavier rain threat. And some of the latest indications actually stalling out that front. And it doesn't clear through the afternoon, perhaps even evening hours. So you want to make sure... You check in with Eric Fisher tonight as he'll be getting some new information. But once that front does push to the east, that cooler weather does move in. So the weekend forecast actually shows big improvements from wet and windy conditions on Saturday to quiet and sunny conditions. But look at the temperature drop. It's back into the 50s. Speaking of dropping too, well, we're going to be uh, turning the clocks back. We'll get an extra hour of sleep, but looking quiet for the Pats game at night. And we'll hold on to those 50s for Monday. As for Tuesday and Wednesday, we bring back the risk of rain. Back to you.